Okie dokie. Well, good evening, everybody. Well, um, I'm currently working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, and I'm at a... In order to spare me a whole bunch of typing, like I'd have to type down, like, walls of text to say what I wanted to say, I thought it would be easier and quicker to just go ahead and make a video about it. Um, I need to explain an aspect of Gems of War that, again, I think would be easier to just make a video about for the most part, a tutorial video than it would be to have to sit here and try to type down a big old explanation and how this certain event works and all that, so just to save me a bunch of space. And then, and then um, anybody else who wants to check this video out might find it educational as well, so definitely couldn't hurt to just make a vid. But um, like usual, I am going to have some music going in the background. Uh, this time around, it's going to be Shkempty. Uh, it's going to be their, um, yeah, it's, um, how do I call this? Egyptian ambient music or Arabian amb ambient music. I guess, um, it's the kind of music that you probably hear in like an, uh, Egyptian themed video game or something. So, and yeah, the, the, the picture quality isn't that great. I got a new, uh, I got a new media player. I switched from Windows media player to playing my music to uh it's called VLC or something. Um the but again their their thumbnail thumbnail quality is pretty bad. But at least I at least I got it. Uh Windows Media Player, they don't show any album covers at all. Like they're all just they're all just uh black squares. Like totally blank, so So let me go ahead and get that fired up. <sighs> okay, so um, one thing, uh, one thing I want to show, uh, Luna Rebel, if I got time, I'll show that later too, but it was one of the, uh, it was one of the three events that this game has, um, and they usually, they rotate on a weekly basis, uh, Luna Rebel, now in an event like this, it, um, it's gonna last for probably a couple weeks. Well, I guess I could show this quickly since I'm here. Um, you just... You just pick a battle. Um, normally... Looking at this, whatever currency you earn from it doesn't matter. It's all the same. I go for the higher level ones, but... And again, I don't have... Um, I've already done the event. So, I I can't do it again. It's... It's, it's a daily that lasts a couple weeks. And uh, as you can, hopefully you can see my uh, cursor, but on a lot of these events, they have restrictions. Like in this case here, I can only use, I can only use troops that have the color red. And um, what that means is uh, red can be, in, can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be a straight up red like this is. But as long as they got red in one of their mana colors, then it's good. Of course, it doesn't apply to your troops over here. They can still have any other color they want. So, a bit lopsided. And then, and then, uh, if you, if and when you beat that battle, you'll get, you'll get uh, 20 of these red, whatever they're called, which eventually you can spend in the shop. And you just, like my goal, my goal is to get the uh, crimson armor here, even though chances are I probably won't wear it. But it's, yeah, and then you can all sometimes you can spend your currency on getting a new, getting a new troop. But uh, in this case here, don't see me using her all that much. So, you no, know, but you get you get the idea though. I think um. I can't think of anything right off the top of my head in Final Fantasy XIV that this could be an equivalent of, except maybe, maybe raids, um, raids, dungeons, trials. You know, you get your tombstones of whatever, whatever word is at the end of it, or whatever word is at the end of it. I guess a suffix, kind of like Diablo. I didn't mean to do that. And then another, another event. 
Um, this is called the Faction Assault. Uh, it, it comes out every week, I believe every Tuesday. And, uh, and you only get one day with it. So as you can, as you can see towards the bottom, the event ends in five hours. So, and then, now again, since I've, since I've already done this event, I won't be able to do it again. But, um, I guess what I can do, oh, while, you're, while I'm here, while I'm here, you can spend, um, before you do these, or at least this particular event here, you can also spend gems, um, gems, Again, gems uh, could be the equivalent of maybe tombstones. The, like the, the harder to get tombstones in the uh, in Final Fantasy XIV. Probably WoW and other MMOs too, but I can't. The, the names of what they are escape me. So. And then. And uh, I've already uh, collected all the rewards and then some. But again, um, you would just run through. You, you would just run through uh, each one of these, and then you get you get point rewards, where you can spend spend here getting and getting various stuff, gold, gold bars, diamonds, uh, vault keys. I think there is one more. Oh, I know what it's gonna do. Um, but here, um, uh, in this, in this game, there's actually two worlds, so there's a bit of a, little bit of, but a little bit of Legend of Zelda linked to the past in this game. There's the overworld. And then, I believe each kingdom has an underworld equivalent. Uh, if I can remember what they are. Like, for example... This week's kingdom, the one that's being focused on this week, is called Karakoff. But in the underworld, I believe its equivalent is Duragoth. Yeah. And then every day, you can do what are called delves. This is the other thing I also wanted to talk about. The, the faction assault that I just talked about. Are basically delves. So pretty much the same thing, except here you actually get rewards and stuff. But down here, you're doing the same thing. Now, so. oh, this is new. I just clicked this in the upper right corner just for the hell of it. But yeah. I guess you can uh you can Oh and for those that don't know uh gems, in case I didn't say earlier, um they're they're pretty rare. Like I said, they're in Final Fantasy 14 terms, they'd be like the uh kind of tombstones that you can only get from like maybe maybe uh the really super hard Hard raid bosses, I guess Savage, Savage Extreme, one or both of them. So yeah, gems in this game are pretty rare. So, but I guess I guess since I'm here, um, there there is one thing I want to do, and um, the stuff you see on the left here, you can um, you'll get these doing various game modes. Um, you can, uh, I think you can sometimes uh. Uh, get them with uh, treasure chests and stuff. Um, what you can do is you can spend these. You can use these to up your equality level and your horde level. Um, what I do want to do... Is I want to try to at least get my horde level to 100. Because... 98, 99... And you can also see on the left here. Every, every time your horde level increases... Sort of the stats you get 
when running a when running a dill. Yeah. So I want to at least get it to a hundred, so I'll be able to use this potion of enchantment. So just to get a just to get a good start. And then what you want to do is uh, if you look here, each one of these has a percentage. Um, and it'll increase your percentage chance of upgrading the quality, which caps out at 10. So, quality meaning meaning the rewards you get, uh, times four gold, times two souls, etc. So, but again, I'm gonna try to get my horde level to 100. So, every battle will have a potion of enchantment. Just upgrades yeah I'm reading it now it only upgrades the quality although it really wouldn't feel right if I started adding more and more to it so I'll just leave it at that so it's at 99 I'm trying to keep at least one of each of these because another weird another weird quirk if I remember to explain it later but these are uh, treasure items that you're seeing here you can also use them as troops you can you can literally make a team with these and um, I have done it before in fact I still I still need to get around to doing it but you can even use them in PvP like uh, other opponents they can attack your uh, your treasure group here. You're basically you're giving them a free win, but I can't. I don't think I can read the card. Nope. Otherwise, I'd show you how these uh, how these kind of uh, troops work. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So we're already at uh, 50 percent. I'll just go ahead and do that. There, I'm already at 104. Okay, still upgrading. There we go. Potion of enchantment. So. So then we'll. You can start at level 50, but you only get half the treasure, which is which is fine because I'll kind of explain I'll kind of explain more how this works, but uh don't you actually don't want to go higher than like level 20 or 30 or something like that just enough to one shot the monsters say so, yeah too much of a pain in the butt with these two okay delves i need a chance real quick turn it down just a smidge okay I kind of know what I already want. So, two or three of these. And I'll kind of, I don't want to spend too much time explaining how, they, how my team works, but um, I've used this team for the, um, for the other two events as well. So, filter um, I think it was create let me type that down create so I wish I could remember the name I 
wish I could remember the name of the weapon I used. And I don't want to have to go all... There it is. I bought it. I bought it. No one I was actually gonna do this, I would I would have prepared better. Okay, um, class. But yeah, and and that's something else that this game has. It all like uh, most other RPGs, there's a class system in here too, but and there's many. So yeah, it, same thing here. It's the same exact restrictions as it was on that faction itself. So, no. Purple. I'm trying to think. But yeah, you get, you get the idea though. Like in this case here, you can only use uh, purple and brown troops in your group switch. I got a brown here and the other three have a, have a purple. earlier but in case I didn't say at the start of this video yeah this um this is pretty much done totally at the spur of the moment uh, I just got on my blog I was about to type to start typing on well I did these events during my during my stream but I got to thinking it's gonna be a whole ton of typing so Uh, enchanting, um, because I forgot to say earlier, on the right there, when you're enchanted, everybody gains two mana every turn, but it only lasts until they actually cast a spell. So. And I'll do kind of a quickie uh, demonstration here. This deals um, deals damage to an enemy, and then it also creates uh, six red and purple gems for each demon ally. And since I picked a Diabolist class, he's a demon. The other three guys, they're also demons. And then the other three uh, deals uh, 54 true heavy splash damage. What that means is true damage, it only it goes right for the life. Like it doesn't affect the arm, it ignores the armor and goes straight to the life. Now, splash damage means it deals damage to your chosen target and then since this is heavy splash damage it deals 75 percent of that damage yeah to the two adjacent troops the one the guy above and the guy below and then explodes all stone blocks which is actually a pretty great pretty great ability to have because these delves all have stone blocks on the bottom and i believe they create three more like i said just Gotta go. I'm trying to get off. Uh, trying to get blue and brown, but there's a red right there. Uh, let's see if there's any other cores. And then the gems that are created are totally random. They're they're placed completely random. Okay, you should just pick the top guy. There we go. They're all loaded up. So, splash damage, you aim for the center guy. Not like the top like I always do or the bottom, but... There we go. Clean house. And then, the way this works, um, at the end of a delve run, you'll get, um, you'll get a chest at the end of it. And then the, um, And then for every one of these battles, if you look at the Roman numeral, um, there is no one but a two. Two is the uh, second easiest battle, all the way up till five, which is 
the, the toughest. So, and what that means is the higher that multiplier, the higher that Roman numeral uh, increases your uh, increases your uh, treasure and uh, your treasure multiplier. And there's also a chance that it's going to automatically upgrade your chest one level. But they all have downsides, though. Like in this case here, all of my enemies are going to get one extra magic attribute for the rest of the run. Again, I'm trying to look for uh, brown and blue matches. So, the guy on the top is good to go. Oh, two out of three ain't bad. So, same thing there. And he's up. Easy peasy. But, um, I think I might say it at the bottom of the screen if you can see it. I think the, uh, the text should change. One other drawback on doing these delve runs is, um, if, if any of your guys die, then it's permanent. Then you're going to be a man, you're going to be at least a man down the rest of the run. Also, if any of your guys get switched, like there's, um, there's like a few monsters in here. When they hit, they'll like knock you. They'll they'll knock this guy down to the last position, or they'll just completely jumble your team. If that happens, you're stuck with that too for the rest of the run. And um, with me, whenever something like ha like that happens, I'm apt to either a yeah. It says here at the bottom, troops cannot be changed after the first battle. So that's one. And then two, like I said too, if anybody dies or if their positions get switched, you're stuck with that for the rest of the run. Um, with me, usually it's a judgment call on my part. If if my positions get switched, I might just head straight to the last battle, or I might just bail out of the uh, run entirely, especially at the early part of a run. Like, if it happens in, like, the very first battle, yeah, I, I don't even... I'm not even going to salvage something like that. Uh, I might just go right to the last battle or just bail out of it entirely. But yeah, I'm, I would rather take a quick loss than a long drawn out win. Probably, probably like a lot of people, probably like a, a lot of the MMOs I've played over the years. Um, a lot of us people are like that. I mean, you know, you want your tank, you know, you want your tanks to pull two to three groups at a time. You want to go, you want to do those runs at at breakneck pace. It's a, it's the same thing, you know. It's farm content, so you guys don't want to. You guys don't want to be doing these, you know, dungeon runs, these trial runs. You don't want to be spending all day doing them. So you're probably more apt to just drop group. Like if you know if your team is wiping too often, you're probably more likely to just drop out of the run rather than sit here and try to tough it out. I mean, it unless you're pushing progression, then yeah, you're gonna have to stick around. But again, most of what people doing in MMOs these days are farm content. go and again splash damage so Ta -da! and yes I make heavy use of a soundboard but you kind of get to see then the next one here it says here all of my enemies are going to be immune to frozen I forgot what that last stipulation was. And then, and then with me, I actually prioritize the blue, or excuse me, the brown matches over the blue ones. Um, yeah, 64% chance that my matches will get me double mana. But uh, I think according to my banner, the banner that I chose to have, it gives me a plus two, plus two mana to brown matches, so... Oh, didn't get my surge that time.
Looks like we're up to level two. So I'm on a bone storm. Um, what that, what a bone storm is. In fact, I could probably um, uh, I'll probably just show you when we get into the battle. But I hope you guys are get understanding how this works. Out. Like in this case, what I have going is an ice storm, meaning blue gems fall more than other colors. A bone storm would be uh, more skulls fall than other other colors. Oh, well, I definitely helped him. And here's... I'm gonna have to wait. And here's another example. Oh, wrong one. And here's another example, too. Um, if you see... If you look at the uh, ability here, Devour a Random Enemy, if I saw that, then it's gonna be an automatic judgment call. Like I said, if it... If it's like at the very early part of a run, I might just go ahead and abandon it entirely, so. But yeah, and there's a there's a fair amount of troops in these run excuse me. There's a fair amount of troops in these that can also devour their targets too. Which uh that means all of their uh, their life total, their armor total, um their attack power. All that gets added on to your own. Immunity to death mark. I'll take it. But you kind of see what's going on here, though. So it just... And I'm trying to think of a... I'm trying to think of a Final Fantasy XIV equivalent to this. That call... But again, this is um, this was one of the reasons why um, why a good chunk of my uh, stream today was just nothing but the faction assault. This is some pretty tedious stuff right here. Now, another thing I forgot to say earlier too, when you're doing these, there's um, it's for mathematical reasons. I can't, I had it, I've had it explained to me before, but I've still, I still totally forgot what it was. But if you have a choice. You always want to do the higher multiplier ones first and go in descending order. So, you know, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Normally. Well, that sucked. Only the upper left corner got hit. Well, I'm not seeing any brown or blue matches, so looks like I'm stuck. Unless he can help me out. Nope. It's gonna be a long one. Ah, stealthy. Yeah, that's another a little annoying mechanic for a build like for a team like this, excuse me. Some, some of your enemies are stealthy, meaning you can't target them unless there's no other targets. Huh? It looks like my Doomsayer class leveled up. But... And classes in this game, I've said this before, they, um, it works kind of like World of Warcraft, kind of like Diablo. Every time you get some item up, get to a certain certain level, You'll get to choose between one of three talents. This game has it too. Just checking something. Oh, oh there's one. Oh. You got a surge out of that. But again, when you hear me say Surge, that's referring to this. 64% chance of me getting double mana from a match. 
and on some of and some of the teams I've had, it, I some of the teams I've had can actually live or die by whether or not I get that all important surge, especially in something like PvP, where a lot of the teams on there they can basically wipe out your whole team in one single turn. And there is that bone storm I was talking about earlier. So I'm gonna start getting more skulls now than everything else. Alright, so here we are. Um, I've cleared out everything else in this uh, in this run here. All that's left is this one. Now, um, one or two things that I did forget to mention. You could, you could theoretically go right after this room. After completing the room. You could, or let me, let me, let me back up. You can go right after this final room. Provided, provided you can actually get to it, so... If, uh, in a pinch, if I can complete these first two rooms, but if for some reason, say, one or two of my guys got devoured, and I only have half my team remaining, but if I think I could still clear out that final room quickly, then yeah, I'll just go right for that last room. I mean, I'll skip, and I'll skip everything else. So... But anyway... Yep, he has the same thing I do. The RML, the big one on the is on the bottom. Um, stun a random enemy when an enemy casts a spell. That means the moment I, the moment I uh, try to use an ability, one of my guys is gonna get stunned. And again, for those that don't know, your traits, your these are your traits. If you're stunned, you lose all of them though. Brown matches. Oh, damn. So, as you, if you can see the, uh, see the red X's over here, that means that your troop has been stunned. So, And uh, in case anyone's wondering, in this game here, if you could find a four match, yeah, if you could find a four match, you'll get an extra turn. Otherwise, normally, turn passes back and forth between you and your opponent. Like, if you only find a three match, like here's another one right here, you get an extra turn. Oh, he's still alive. So... Okay, and so it look, looks like my chest got upgraded to level 8. And then... Or I'm using a PlayStation controller, so you hit Y, or you hit uh, triangle. And there's what I got. So, but, but anyway, um, let me go back over here. But yeah, for faction assault, this is, this is why it uh, took me a super long time to get this done, cause. I think you start with like two or three, two or three attempts. But um, during the course of battle, in various battles, you'll actually uh, fight troops that will give you additional attempts. So yeah, I was at it for a pretty long while on this, and I think there was even a, there was even one run where one or one or two of my troops got devoured by a by one of theirs. Uh, when I saw that, I'm like, uh-uh. I think because it was like it was either here or here.
like very early on in the battle. Yeah, sure. So yeah, so when in with me, if that kind of thing happens, I just bail out of the run. Like I'm not even gonna try to salvage that one. So, but but anyway, um, that's how faction assault works. And then one other thing I need to show. I'm gonna try not to take too long on this one, but this one here kind of works a little different. And again, I've already done this, so I can't do any more of them. But there's a, you kind of look at, you can just, you know, pick which battle you want. Um, I'm trying to remember the color coding. I think I could probably, So let me sort this by base rarity. And let me go all the way down to the bottom. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way. I ain't got none, but, um, but troops in this game, I mean, just like, uh, just like baseball cards, and I guess, uh, just like, uh, MMOs in general, all troops have, like, a, a rarity level, or a power level. Like, uh, yeah, it, it's just like, it's just like white equipment. Like, in, again, in Final Fantasy XIV and WoW, they come to mind, you know, you had regular plain Jane equipment, which is white, and then you had, then you have the equipment that's one tier up better than that, which is green. Then one tier up from that, I believe, is... I think blue is in here somewhere. You got purple here, but... There's also blue. Which is, uh, I think, one higher up in green. Then you got blue. Then you got purple. And then, I believe it's orange after that. Legendary. Then you had, um... Uh, light blue. Which is, uh, mythic. So... Well, back there... That color system also corresponds to this particular uh, world event. Is it a world event? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going off subject here, but it corresponds to the same thing here. Like, you get to pick which battle, and always, you always want to go for the highest tier. Like, again, this is light blue, and it's a uh, this is a points based event. So. You always want to go for the, uh, the the mythic ones here. Are always going to give you the most points. These dark blue ones, eh. And then once again, in these events here, a lot of times they have uh, troop restrictions. Like in this example here, like I talked about earlier, the uh, the the kingdom focus for this week is Karakoth. So all of your troops have to be from Karakoth. Um, except for your, uh, except for your uh, hero character. I don't think it ma it, it don't matter, but the rest of your troops, they got to be from Karakoth. And like I said earlier, too, um, all the overworld kingdoms have an underworld equivalent. Karakoth and Duragoth. I was just here, Duragoth. So, but again. So, and just like, um, damn, which one? Hang on, brain. But one of the one of the earlier events I talked about, there's also a reward system on here too. But um, one unique thing about one thing one unique thing about this is this is a this is a guild based event, and this looks like it's gonna go on for about a week. So everybody in your guild contributes to this. And I can't I can't remember if Final Fantasy XIV had something like this like. For your um, like for your FCs, I think they did treasure maps, maybe. Um, the diadem. I think um, your you can um run your run in with your whole FC. In fact, it even shows right here. Hey, I'm in third.
But uh, I had a. And I, that's what I'll, that's also what I was wanting to say too. Um, just like in um, just like in the delves I did, I just did, and the uh, faction assault. You could only do so many a day, but unlike um, unlike those events, you can use additional sigils. That's what they're called. You can use additional sigils to increase your stats, which. Which, um, maybe not for this particular battle, level 106. But I've seen, I've seen it go, go as high as level 250. I think that's a ballpark number. Yeah, level 250. Yeah, monsters in there are tall. So in a situation like that, I might just go ahead and use an additional one. So we all have, uh, we're 50% more effect, or... 50% stat boost, or sometimes if I was really suspicious, or if I, or let me rephrase it, if I was really doubtful, I'd use two more, just to get the battle over with. Well, that went on a while. <laughs> well, uh, what about 40, 45 minutes, but like I, but like I said, the 40, 45 minutes that I just spent on this video, it still would have paled in the comparison w with all the typing that I would have, would have had to have done on my, on my blog. So, despite me think, despite me thinking I probably went a little over long on this, it was still worth it. So, but otherwise, just gonna go ahead and call it good. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.